Dante Certification Level 1, Second Edition. Dante Ports and Connections. Some Dante devices will have one network port on them, and those are pretty self-explanatory. But other Dante devices will have two ports on them. When two ports are present, they will usually default to switched or daisy chain mode. These are two terms that mean the same thing. Switched mode means the two external ports and the internal Dante connection all link through an internal network switch. So it doesn't matter which one you connect to, it'll get to the internal Dante port. Now in switched mode, you only need to connect one of these ports to a network switch. You do not connect both. Using switched mode, you can avoid network switches and simply link devices together in a chain. In fact, the other name you'll hear, daisy chain, is a common engineering term for this topology because it simulates a chain of daisies strung together like garland. Now, if we have a few devices like so, you could imagine the wiring looking something like this, linking the devices together. If you have a computer that you'd like to add to the system to record or playback tracks, you could simply connect it to the empty port on one end of the chain. You could even link the other end of this chain to a network switch or even a wireless router. So, you get the idea? Now, a daisy chain should be limited in length, partially because it's going to take time for that signal to go through each device in your chain, but also because a break in a cable or something like that could take your system and split it in two. Now, we don't really want to put a hard rule on this, but I would say if it was to get much larger than what we're showing here, that would be a time I would start thinking about a central switch. And that brings us to a star topology. If you imagine the network switch in the middle and the network endpoints radiating out, this could easily be visualized as a star. So to put this in practice, here's the same devices we had before. Instead of chaining them one after the other, we could just plug them all directly into a network switch. Simple as that. This also makes it easier to integrate more ports for things like control as well. And of course, we can use multiple switches without hesitation. Now, multiple switches will be covered in more detail in level two certification, but you'll notice we already snuck in the wireless router, which often has a switch in it. When multiple switches are linked together, we often call that a trunk line or an uplink. So, we can connect the wireless router to our switch and then use one more connection between the two switches. Now that the network infrastructure is all linked together, simply connect your computer and Dante devices in, and you're in business. You may notice that a best practice is to plug in network endpoints, things like your computers or your audio devices. Start those on port one and move up from there. Trunk lines typically start at the last port and work their way back. Now this is not a requirement by any means. You can plug anything in anywhere on the switch and it will make sense of it. However, if you have to do some troubleshooting or if you have to chase some cables down, if you lay it out this way and you walk up to your switch, you'll immediately know what some of these cables are intended for just by where they're plugged in. So again, when two Dante ports are present, they will usually default to switched mode, also known as daisy chain mode. In this mode, both ports lead to the internal Dante network connection. You only need to connect one to the switch. The second remains available to daisy chain devices if you wish. The other mode it could be in is called redundant. Now, redundant networks are going to be covered in more detail in level two certification, but let's at least give you a basic introduction so you can recognize the behavior if you see it. When a device is set in redundant mode, the second Dante port connects to a totally independent Dante port with its own IP address. You connect each port to an independent network, both of which will run full time. Now, if a cable breaks or a switch freezes, your connections could still be maintained on the other network. So these are the two modes you'll often see. Switched or daisy chain mode can be used to connect to devices without requiring network switches. You could use a star topology, which just means you connect everything to a network switch. And the redundant mode allows you to operate two networks so that your system can survive a cable or a switch failure. Now, besides the Dante ports, some Dante devices will also have a control port on them. Now this could be used to program or control a DSP, remotely control a mixer with iPads, or just adjust settings on a beamforming mic. Whatever the need, 
sometimes these control ports will be offered on a separate RJ45, and sometimes the manufacturer will simply merge them into the Dante primary connection. This helps explain why there may be separate IP address settings for each port. One goes to the Dante chipset, while the other goes to the control function that is maintained on the manufacturer's native hardware. Now to set the IP address for the manufacturer's control port, you're gonna to have to look at the instructions. Different companies will do that different ways. However, the Dante interface is usually set the same way from Dante controller. Let's take a look at how to do that. If you're in network view, just double click on the device you wanna edit and that will give you a device view window. In that, choose the network config tab. Here, you'll find options for automatic IP, like DHCP, or static configuration. If you want to set a static IP, just click the radio button and enter your settings. Click apply for the settings to transfer to the device. You'll likely need to reboot the device for the settings to take effect. Some devices can use the soft reboot button here in this menu. Others may require physically cycling the power. Now, this is what the device looks like if you just have one network port or if it's set in switched mode. If you have a device in redundant mode, you'll see we get settings for each network port. And of course, to change the mode, many devices will let you change this from Dante controller right here. So in summary, Dante devices can be connected in daisy chain or using a network switch. There is also a redundant mode available, but that will be covered in our level two certification. Many Dante devices also have device control ports, but this functionality is unrelated to Dante per se. The control port might be offered on a discrete RJ45, or it may be combined internally with the Dante primary port. For details on your specific product, check its instruction manual.